What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today I am talking about Power Automate, and I'm going to talk about expressions, specifically the string function expression of Concat. So, what is Concat? Well, Concat is kind of short for concatenate, which means that you can um, add multiple strings together. So this could be useful if you're getting different pieces of information from different points, and you need to contact that into a single string that you then want to um, you know, use elsewhere in your, um, in your flow. So let's take a look at it. I'm in Power Automate now. I have a manual trigger flow, and I've got a couple of inputs. So these are just two text inputs for this flow. So I'm just gonna add a bit of text in here, and then we're gonna concatenate it. So I'm gonna click on New Step. Uh, in the search bar, I'm gonna look for the Compose action. We find it there, it's also under data operations. Uh, we click the inputs and then instead of using dynamic content to just add these two things together um, in the list, we're actually going to concatenate it. So this means that we can actually, um, like unlike this with dynamic content where I could add in um, two different fields, if I have say an array or different parts of a string that I could split out, I could then concat those outputs into this this way. So let's, let's do that. We'll click over to expressions, and the very first function is concat. Now, as you're in this expressions menu, um, it will try, and this functions menu, it will try to help you build these things. So if I click in concat, it'll instantly put that um, command in here, or that um, expression or function in here, and then give me two brackets. Now, it also does give me some idea as to what is needed um, in this short little list. And sometimes as you're typing things out, it'll also help you um, uh, help you put stuff in. So I could um, write in some uh, text. So I could say something like, you know, um, uh, text. Um, and I see, like I've put in a single quotation mark and that's actually put in um, two of them for me to try and help me out. Uh, comma, and then I could put in something else. So here we go. As I've started to type this in, it's actually come up with a little box above the window to say, um, you know, uh, what this is. So contact text string one, text string two, uh, required um, the string to combine into a single string um, and combines any number of strings together. So this can be any sort of number of things. So um, I could put some like text in there uh, and then I could maybe have a space and then I could put in um, maybe the uh, dynamic content from the other one. So I could put in uh, the text body one, uh, put a comma after that, and then maybe put the, uh, the input two in there as well. So um, we'll see if that works. So we've got the uh, trigger for um, the, the trigger for the text in here, um, and then the first text as well. Uh, we also have the word text. Um, I want to change that to test text. Uh, we're going to have a space and then we're going to have those two things. So let's test this and see how it works. So once I'm happy with my expression in there, I can click OK and it'll, uh, it'll update in there. Now it will also check my syntax and see if it's right or not. Um, so sometimes if it knows it's not right, it'll tell you here, uh, but else when we start to run this flow, it may tell us that we are not right um, or there's you know some punctuation and something missing. So we'll go to test flow. I'll perform the action, save and test, and then it'll pop up and ask me for these two text inputs. So I'll put, uh, I'm having a great day and then underneath I'll put me too and we'll click run flow let's say run successfully looks green so hopefully that's good so yeah so we've got that test text that I put in we've then got a space we've then got I'm having a great day and then as you'll notice there's no space here and that's because in my contract function I specifically put this space in between the text and the the next input, but I didn't put in one in here. So that's something important to kind of understand. So if I wanted to do this again, I could go back in, I could click on my expression so I can update it. As I click on it, it then opens it in the expression window and we can go in here and we'll go across to, uh, between the two things, we'll add another comma in, uh, we'll add um, 
uh, a space in there and then that way it will um, have the space between the two. We can test it and we can actually just use the previous result. So the previous test with all the content that I added in, save and test, we'll open the compose and we can now see that there is a space between the day and me too. So that's it. You can use contract to combine any number of strings together into a single string. You then have that one output string that you can then use uh, elsewhere in your flow. So what do you guys think about this? Is this something that you use already? Something that you will use in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, as always, please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.